Hey guys, so I wanted to show you this little tool here. Uh, sometimes when you're uh, working with Windows, you know, if you're doing a lot of installations of Windows or just if you, you're doing um, a lot of work within the network or anything like that, you don't want to sit there and have to keep on downloading Windows Update for Windows Update for Windows Update for each of your individual machines. Uh, this is a fantastic little tool. Um, so let's get started here. Uh, it's called WSUS Offline Update. Um, now you can see it might be a little bit off-putting because it's it's in German here but if you scroll down they have the introduction down here in English as well um, and what we're gonna do you see right here the newest versions right there so we're gonna click on the download link and you can see right here version 10 point that we can click on now this is completely free although uh, they do accept donations um, and I already have this downloaded when you click on that it's gonna pop up and it's gonna let you download a zipped uh, file I'm just gonna hit cancel on that because like I said I've already got it downloaded there's the file right there and I've already extracted it you don't need anything special to extract it um, we got a little folder here with the folder you'll see update generator now if you click on that it's pretty cool it gives you the option here for Windows, Office, and Legacy products from Windows Vista and Office 2007. Now over here you've got Windows 7 and Server 2008, both 32-bit and 64-bit. You've got Windows Server 2012 right here. You've got Windows 8.1 and you've got Windows 10. Um, again, Server 2012, Server 2016. Um, underneath options, you can verify your downloaded updates. You can include the C runtime libraries and .NET frameworks. Include Microsoft Security Essentials, which you know I I'm one of those that don't recommend that, so I, I don't I would I wouldn't do that one. Um, you can include service packs, which why wouldn't you? Um, include Windows Defender definitions. That's a good one. And you can also choose to create an ISO file with all of these so if you wanted to you could burn a, a disk with this and send it to somebody or you could burn multiple copies and you could go around popping each of the disk into the machines or if you didn't want to push the updates out through the network um, and you can also choose to create this just to a flash drive and what this basically does is it really just copies everything over to your flash drive um, which you can do yourself but what you would do is you'd go through here and you would choose whichever one you wanted and we're going to choose the Windows 7 64 bit and we're just going to leave this as is because I'm not going to let this fully go but I'm going to hit start just to show you okay now you'll see this pop up now it'll say starting to check and you can see that the uh, URLs it's checking here are the actual the Microsoft URLs so it's nothing malicious here it's just literally downloading all the updates from Microsoft um, so that you can uh, install them offline. Now we're just going to go ahead and close that out. Uh, error downloading because I've canceled it. We're going to close this out. Now after it's downloaded all the updates, if you created an ISO, it'll be in your ISO folder right here. But if you didn't, you can click on Client and you can go down here to Update Installer. Now this is where you would go to install all of your downloaded updates. You click on yes. It'll show on the system the most recent version of Internet Explorer will automatically be installed when you start the updating process. So it'll automatically install the newest Internet Explorer. And once you've actually down all these are grayed out because I didn't actually download any of them. But if you had them all downloaded it would give you the option of what all you want to install including Microsoft uh, Silverlight um, and all those little options there you can even set it to automatically reboot and restart so you could you could hit that and you could hit start and walk away and whenever you came back all of it would be done um, which is a nice little feature um, but there it is it's a really nice little tool it's very very helpful um, so, there you go. You should check it out.
thank you for watching, you guys. Check the uh, description for links, as always. Um, and thank you very, very much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it.